Hi, Gary Cruz with AmazeStudios.com. And if you want to learn how to use NDI titles with Ecamm Live, then watch this video. Hey, Gary Cruz here with AmazeStudios.com. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to do NDI titles with Adobe Premiere Pro. If you've seen my other tutorials, I've created titles with Keynote, and I know that you can also create titles with Motion and Final Cut Pro, but today we're gonna make titles using NDI and with Adobe Premiere. So that's gonna be a prerequisite, is that you'll need Adobe Premiere because Premiere supports NDI export over the network. Now, you probably heard of NDI if you've been using Skype because that's the way to get Skype colors into Ecamm Live. But if you're not familiar with NDI, NDI stands for Network Device Interface. NDI was created by NewTek, but it's open source and you can see that Ecamm Live is using it. Let's jump right into it. I'm gonna switch over to my main camera here. Now I'm gonna switch over to the recording of my MacBook Air. So I've got two computers here. My main computer that is recording Ecamm Live is an iMac Pro, it's from 2014. It's a 5K iMac. And if we take a look here at the specs here, let me share this screen here. We can see that I'm running Mac OS Catalina version 10.15.4. It's a 5K iMac, 27 inch from 2014. What's really good about this is that it runs a four gigahertz quad core i7, but it has 32 gigabytes of memory. So it should handle this okay. Now, uh, my iMac is connected to my network via ethernet. I have my MacBook Air, my MacBook Pro over Wi-Fi. And if we take a look at the specs of my MacBook Pro, it is a 15 inch 2017 2.9 gigahertz Intel Core i7. It's got 16 gigabytes of memory. All right, now let's switch back over to Premiere. I just installed this on this Mac. So let's see if it just supports it out of the box here. I have a couple projects in here, but let's go ahead and create a new project. And we'll just do this as NDI test. I usually use Final Cut Pro, so I'm not that familiar with Premiere Pro. I'm just gonna go ahead and reset this to all panels. All right, so I'm playing, I've imported my lower thirds into Adobe Premiere. And uh, right now it's not showing up on Ecamm Live. So let's go to the preferences and check out what's going on with playback. We've got NDI output. Oh, all right. So we've got NDI on. All right, here we go. Here's what's missing. Cancel. All right, so on Ecamm, let's go ahead and record this in live demo mode. Okay, now we're recording my whole screen here, but, oh, look at this. Let's go ahead and add this. No way, this is cool. All right, so I've got this render. So I'm dragging the timeline in Adobe Premiere and it's playing this over the network. Let's press play. Now that is cool. Hi, Gary Cruz with AmazeStudios.com here, and this is my lower thirds coming in over NDI on Adobe Premiere. All right, let's check out what else we've got here. Uh, Adobe Premiere comes with these essential graphics. So if we drag over, I don't know, this it looks like it has to render. So let's play that back. It was playing blurry because it was half resolution. So let's go click on full and try this back. There you go. Wow, that renders in real time over the network. That's pretty impressive. All right, let's drag something else in here. Let's check out the 
alpha channel. So we've got this logo that's coming in here. So if I, I can retype on that. Okay. Now I've got a couple examples of um, some After Effects. Now After Effects on Mac doesn't support the alpha channels. So I have to put import them into Premiere. So let's go ahead and do that. I've got a couple on my desktop here. And click on my desktop. Let's start with this motion converted. So if I drag it over here, it's going to ask what I want to import from this. There's a couple layers. All right, so I've got a title here and let's grab this lower thirds. And here's the beauty of it is that if if you haven't tried this out yet, now let's go ahead and share this screen here. I'm going to go back to my browser. If you haven't checked this out yet, go to videohive.net and you go to After Effects and click on titles. You can download all kinds of really cool titles and use them with Ecamm Live in this same example. So I've downloaded a few already and let's go ahead and switch over to that so I can give you an example. So on Adobe Premiere, if I drag this title in here and let's go ahead and play that out. <laughs> that is so cool. All right, so now um, you can see that it supports alpha channel over NDI. All right, so if we go over here and click on the title, I should be able to go ahead and and change out the name. There we go. So let's put let's put my name. All right, so I just replaced the titles. I think that's fully rendered out. Let's see what happens. There we go. That's a pretty long title. Okay, let's see what else we've got. On my desktop, we've got this broadcast converted. So let's drag that in here. You might want to update it to the latest version. So that's what I did. If you have After Effects, I went and saved it. And then you can go and drag something. Let's say, uh, let's do another lower thirds here. And try this one. Okay, so if I drag this over here in the timeline here. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, it looks like it has to render real quick. All right, I am not Sandra Lawrence. All right, see how this looks. I think once it plays once it's it's cached, hopefully. Yeah, there Maybe not. Yeah, this one's a little tricky. Uh, let's try something else. So let's go to broadcast. Let's go to broadcast and drag that down here. Come on. Let's do. A phone screen. See what this is all about. Ooh, okay. Let's do 
Okay. Um, how would this work? All right. So I probably would have to cut out the, um, I probably would have to cut this out in After Effects and then bring it back in. Let's try this heads up display template. Try these circle elements. Let's try this circle element here and I'll drag that into this timeline. This looks kind of cool. Oh no, hey, check this out. So let's, um, let's do this. Wait, where's my timer? There it is. It's hiding. Let's do this without a background and 36. All right, that looks cool. And then let's play it with this animation. <laughs> That's cool. I can dance like Laura. Maybe not. Oh, it looks like I'd have to extend the time on this. Maybe make it loop a couple times. Okay, yeah, yeah, here we go. So I'll copy this. Go over here. Paste and paste. And then let that play. Yeah. Try this one. And you can see it, it's supporting alpha channels, which is pretty cool. All right, let's see what else we got. Got this lower third. I don't know what this is. Try the first one and drag in the slower thirds. Huh. Okay. I like it. If we take a look at the uh, graphics library here and click on browse and scroll, scroll down, here's another example. So let's say if I drag in the sports template and the, these templates, there's some templates that come with Adobe Premiere and it looks like that uh, there's some offline media and it's downloading it over to my laptop. All right, one last example. I've got a essential graphics that's built into Adobe Premiere. I dragged that in here. So let's say, for example, if it's score results and you want to go ahead and change this in real time and they just see how it'll just scored, we'll just change that to three and it updated accordingly. Pretty cool. All right. So this concludes the tutorial on using NDI from Adobe Premiere into Ecamm Live to bring in real-time graphics that you can edit in Adobe Premiere and bring that over the network. Sorry, I forgot that I had that graphic behind it. But to bring it over the network into Ecamm Live, and it's just another really cool way to take your videos and your live streaming to the next level. If you like this tutorial, hit that like button and consider subscribing on the way out. I'm going to be doing more of these Ecamm Live tutorials as I'm discovering how to expand on this awesome technology. Thanks for watching. Yeah.